Hi, I'm Vitek from Refactory and today I'm going to show you how to set up our Thermoview. Thermoview is a device for controlling and monitoring water temperature in marine aquariums. It maintains temperature statistics and alerts users in the Smart Reef app when it exceeds a safe range. Let's start by unpacking the device. Thermoview package includes main unit with LCD display, temperature sensor, power supply, a magnet for resetting the device, Velcro tape for mounting the display. Using supplied power cord, connect the device to electrical outlet. Insert the power cord into the tightly fitted socket. Make sure the cord is not loose. The unit will start up and LCD display will show current temperature detected by the sensor. Using double-sided Velcro tape, fix the display in a convenient and spill-free location. In the next step, we place the temperature sensor firmly in the water, making sure it's fully submerged. You may set up the device using a browser on your computer, laptop, tablet or a smartphone. We open the list of available devices on the Wi-Fi network, select and connect to the network corresponding to the serial number of the device. The serial number can be found on the packaging and back of the display. The pattern of the serial number is an abbreviation of the company name, the device name and a string of 12 digits. A password is required to connect to the network. The default password is refactory, lower cases and no spaces. If, while connecting to the device's Wi-Fi network, you see no internet access, notification, connect anyway. Using the same device, open a web browser and enter thermoview.io in the web address field. If such message appears on the screen, after you have entered the correct web address, it means that the connection to the device has not been established and that the connection to your home internet network is still active. Remember that during the direct connection to the device's Wi-Fi network and the initial configuration, your phone or computer may lose internet access. Configure the device in five easy steps. Step one. Select the language you want to use when operating the device. To modify operation and notification ranges, use the cursor key to grab red dots and move them along the temperature scale. The red dots represent the range below and above which the alarm will be triggered. The temperature may be displayed in either degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. The sound alarm may be turned on or off. However, for maximum safety of your aquarium, we recommend to keep the sound alarm turned off. The Smart Reef system will notify you when the safe range you have set is exceeded by sending a notification to your mobile phone. Step 3. Connect the device to your home Wi-Fi network. Select the appropriate network and enter the password. When a thermal control device successfully connects to your Wi-Fi network, the IP address assigned to your device will appear in the left upper corner of the screen. This indicates that the connection has been successful. Step 4. Log into Smart Reef by entering your login and password. Or, if you don't have one yet, select Create a free account. Step 5. Congratulations, the device setup process is complete. Click AND to complete the setup process. Pay attention to the icons in the right upper corner of the screen. There should be green icons next to the Wi-Fi and Smart Reef icons indicating a valid connection. If a red exclamation mark appears next to either of them, it means that the device has lost connection with the Wi-Fi and Smart Reef system. From now on, you can control your device through the Smart Reef app or at reeffactory.com. Once setup is complete, remember to disconnect your mobile phone, tablet or computer from your device's Wi-Fi network and connect to your home network to restore internet access. If you have different temperature measuring devices with different accuracy, you can calibrate. Please note that this feature is only available from within the Smart Reef app. To calibrate, go to Smart Reef mobile application or log into your account at refractory.com. 
select term of view from the list of your devices and click on it to go to the device's details. Next, go to Thermal View Settings and select Temperature Calibration. Submerge the sensor in water at the known temperature, wait 60 seconds and then press OK. Enter the temperature of the water to be displayed by the device. The calibration process has been successfully completed. After calibration, Thermal View will display the adjusted temperature value and when you press the Set button again, you will see the difference value measured after the calibration process. The value after plus means that the temperature value you entered is 0.8 degree higher than the value measured before calibration. Remember, after the calibration process, put the temperature sensor back in a secure way so that it cannot become displaced. It may happen that you forget the password to connect to the device or you want to reconfigure it. In such a case, you need to reset the device to the factory settings. To do this, you need to place the magnet provided in a set to the side of the thermal view device where the sticker with the word reset is located. Remember that after restoring the device to the factory settings, you have to configure it again. This is everything in terms of term of your configuration. If we still haven't answered all your questions, please contact our support team via email at support at refactory.com or use the support tab at refactory.com. If you found this video useful, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content and join our Refactory family community on Facebook. See you around.